Hello my lovelies, welcome to my little cottage by the sea, the place where I love to stitch and craft my way to a vintage inspired and sustainable lifestyle. It's a new year and a time for some new adventures. So if you've started off 2024 thinking that you would like to learn to sew or maybe you haven't sewn for a really long time and you want to get reacquainted with dressmaking, I thought I'd share my top reasons for why I think you should learn to sew your own clothes. So let's begin. The first reason why I think you should learn to sew your own clothes is sustainability. Throughout my life, sustainability has always been incredibly important to me and moving forward, sustainable and ethical consumption is at the forefront of all the decisions that I'm making all the way through my life. I already buy vintage or secondhand and when I am sewing for myself I really do try to sew in a very sustainable way. Sustainable sewing means that you know the provenance of your own clothes. You know that you have sat there and sewn them for hours upon end. That you have put all the blood, sweat and tears, hopefully not, into that garment that you're going to adorn your body with. By sewing your own clothes, you're not supporting a cruel, corrupt and unethical system that exploits people and the planet and really doesn't make the world a better place at all. But by sewing your own, you are helping to make the world a better place one little stitch at a time. The other thing about sustainable sewing is that instead of supporting these big companies, you can support small and independent designers like myself and all the other people who are doing fabulous things in the sewing community. By supporting independent small businesses, you're helping them be more sustainable too. And you're also minimizing the carbon footprint, especially if you're downloading PDF patterns and you're not buying fabrics that have been shipped across the world. Maybe there's a small producer who's making something fabulous. Might cost a little bit more, but in terms of the environment and in terms of the fact that you're probably less likely to spend money on something that you don't love so much, you're more likely to spend a bit more on something that you really love and if you really love it you're going to wear it forever and that is a huge part of sustainability. Choosing sustainably produced, ethically produced fabrics or even vintage fabrics or upcycling things, finding items in the charity shop that you can flip and revamp into something incredible are all brilliant sustainable ways of making your own clothes and they don't need to cost a bomb. The other thing is that sewing your own clothes is a slow process. It's not an immediate quenching of your addiction. It's not a fast fix. It's not fast fashion. The fact that you've taken the time means that you get real appreciation of your garment and the more you wear the things that you own, whether you make them or not, actually is a sustainable thing because it means that you aren't over consuming and buying resources, buying things that you don't use, don't need, that ultimately are just going to go to landfill or just lie very forlorn at the back of your wardrobe. My final point about sustainability is that by caring for your garments in a really sustainable way, learning how to look after them once they're made, care for them, mend them, wash them, in a sustainable way means that they will last longer and therefore are more sustainable. And even if say you've bought a fairly expensive fabric to make something special, the fact that you look after it and then wear it loads means that that cost per wear goes down. And sometimes what you'll find is that maybe that fast fashion thing that you had to buy to get that fix or you were trying to achieve a particular look and the garment is only worn a few times, couple of times because it either falls apart or you don't like it anymore because it wasn't quite right versus the garment that you make yourself out of fabric that you do put a bit of money aside for and you take the time and you make it beautifully but you wear it for years, you will find that your pennies are in deficit and that garment that cost you a little bit more in terms of money and time and effort is the thing that actually costs you so much less in the long term. 
my second reason why I think you should learn to sew your own clothes is that by doing so, you are expressing your unique self. There is no one else like you in the whole of this beautiful planet and by sewing clothes that you love it means that you can dress exactly how you want to it's so empowering you're not dictated by trends by things that are in the shops by things that you see in magazines you are able to take ideas and create wardrobe treasures that really represent the best version of you the cushions just fell on the floor. I love vintage clothes, especially things from the 30s and 40s. And I also love couture and a lot of high-end fashion, like the vampire's wife that I've made a inspired, copied a version of. Now, a lot of those things are way beyond my price range and they're also not necessarily in my size. And a lot of vintage stuff is just not available to me in terms of price it's just not there it's not in my size there's only one and so on so by being able to pattern cut and sew versions of things i can create relatively accurate versions of vintage things that i've seen or high-end things that i've seen in shops like liberty which i love to have a little look see in when i'm up there in that there london town and i get a great sense of accomplishment and i'm able to make that dress in a fabric and nobody else has got the same thing as me and that really makes me feel good in myself i don't know whether it should or not but it's another way that i'm expressing the uniqueness that is me reason number three and why i think you should learn to sew your own clothes is well-being and mindfulness now people often say to me that they're rubbish at creativity and they can't sew and they can't draw and lots of other limiting beliefs and i categorically believe that every single person can be creative and i'll tell you for why as ickle bickle children we spent our whole time playing and we were encouraged to do so and see the world in a very creative way and every single child draws and doodles and dreams and plays along the way as we become adults some of us become adults we're told that that's no longer allowed we're told to put away childish things and to do adult things and the time that we're allowed to occupy imagination and play diminishes and diminishes and i think a lot of people replace this with quite unhealthy behaviors like going to the pub and drinking and doing things maybe sit and watching telly for hours and so on that aren't necessarily really good for their mental well-being and their mental health if you want further evidence of how all of us can be creative every single one of us goes to sleep and every single one of us will dream at some point during that sleep and our dream life is just our subconscious our imagination at play whilst we're sleeping and i can tell you that some of my dreams are tray creative indeed sewing is a fabulous way to engage this creativity within us whether we're sewing clothes or just general sewing some kind of embroidery or whether we're knitting whatever it is being creative in some way really helps the neural pathways of our brain to reconnect to slow down learning something new is one of the best ways to keep your brain working and healthy as you age if we don't give ourselves time for creative pursuits and endeavors actually a lot of our brain starts to rust and stop working in a an active and healthy way so doing something new like sewing means that you're going to be re-engaging parts of your brain that maybe aren't working quite so well as you're getting older and the other thing is that because you feel a sense of pride because making clothes that you really love will up your confidence levels it means that you're going to feel so much better within yourself and none of these things are to do with what size you are and what age you are or anything like that it's just that simple thing of making something that you really value and you're really creating a level of happiness in your life is ultimately going to improve your sense of well-being 
I can honestly say from personal experience that being able to sew and wanting to learn to sew and wanting to improve my sewing and all the skills associated with that has been something that has really helped me in my life. I had a very difficult childhood and a very misspent youth and if it hadn't been for my creativity, for my desire to sew, because that was so strong and because I got so much from that, that really helped me take a much more positive path to the point where I teach lots of people, I'm doing what I love and I'm sitting here talking to you now, which is one of the greatest blessings in my life. And ultimately, when we feel grateful, when we feel blessed, we feel happy. In terms of mindfulness, there is a culture now of I've got to be busy and I've got to be productive and I've got to do this stuff all the time and I don't have time to do any sewing, I don't have time for me, I don't have time for a hobby. All of those things erode our sense of, of well-being and mindfulness and actually slowing down and stopping doing things, stopping being busy, as counterintuitive as that feels when you've got lots of things, lots of plates spinning, is actually the best thing that you can possibly do. I sew for a living but a lot of the stuff that I sew is either for other people or putting together tutorials or you know teaching in a classroom and I did do commissions up until quite recently so I never really had a huge amount of time to sew things for myself. I sometimes only have 15 minutes. 15 minutes is all you need. You just have that sacrosanct 15 minutes that you take. You might have half an hour, you might have an hour. 15 minutes, something that we can all manage you think about the amount of time you scroll on your phone or maybe you sit down and zombie out in front of the old telly box of an evening, but 15 minutes. And if you pace yourself and you just fit 15 minutes over an amount of time, little and often, means that you end up with something fabulous. And those 15 minutes are going to help you unwind, to do something that you feel really, really proud of and you are going to be making the world a better place because you are a better person within that world. You may feel a little bit daunted at the prospect of learning to sew. It's such a huge adventure that you can start having. Where to start? What do you do? There are so many resources out there. YouTube is a great place. There's lots of books. There's the Great British Sewing Bee if you've able to watch that all sorts of things and you just start very simply and you build up as a child you didn't know how to walk you didn't know how to eat you didn't know how to go to the toilet but you learnt to do it once upon a time I didn't know how to sew but I spent all my life learning and I'm still learning and believe me sometimes I'm still really daunted sewing jeans something that fills my heart with ice but Maybe one day I will sew a pair of jeans just so that I can learn the process. I might be rubbish at it, but the only fail that you have is by not trying. I've been sewing for nearly 43 years now and I still muff things up. I still get things wrong. Is everything perfect? No. Does it matter? No. Anybody who has got an issue with what you're doing or wants to make a comment in a very negative way about what you're doing is really saying more about them and their perception than about you. So don't worry about something being challenging. It's good to challenge yourself. It's good to try something that's going to be a little bit hard, that's going to tax those old neural pathways. And also, just thinking physiologically, it's really good to get that hand-eye coordination going, which sewing most definitely does. Being absorbed in something, really focusing on something, can take us away from our troubles and cares, and there certainly are so many of them in this world of ours today. Giving ourselves the emotional and psychological space to indulge our creative selves can really help deal with the anxieties of modern life. My fourth reason as to why I think you should learn to sew your own clothes is made to measure. I don't know if you have the same experience that I have, but when I go into shops on the high street or designer shops, wherever it happens to be, 
there really is nothing in my size or very few things in my size and I always would like a neckline a bit higher lower a sleeve a bit longer a bit shorter and so on that would be really nice if only it's really frustrating to not be able to find anything to fit you whether that's physically fit you or physically fit the life that you lead or also just the person personality that you are so being able to sew your own clothes means that you can make things that fit you and your life and the personality that you are as a plus size and older woman i'm going to be 50 this year i really don't feel seen in the commercial fashion industry things are a little bit better you are seeing a bit more diversity and representation i don't really subscribe to this whole at a certain age you should look a certain way or dress a certain way or you should do your makeup a certain way none of that interests me at all i just want to enjoy being myself and enjoy dressing myself in a way that really makes me happy and i really do dress for myself if other people like what I do then that is really lovely and I am very grateful when people take the time just to say that they like what I'm wearing or that I look nice. At the end of the day if you don't feel nice within yourself it doesn't matter if you're wearing the most incredible things and perfect makeup and perfect hair you're never going to feel good. For me being able to make things and being able to adorn myself and turn up each day as the person that I feel I am really does make me a happy person and that is one of the huge reasons why I love to sew. One of the things that I'm always saying to my students is that fit is important. Having something that fits you is important but something can fit you really well and you still don't look great in it. Now that's to do with proportion and if you can master the art of proportion that is where seams are fitting on your body, that's hem length and so on, the actual proportion will never ever change in terms of your physiognomy whereas the fit of something will change depending on the day time of day, time of month, how many mince pies you may have eaten. Mastering proportion, which is what a lot of the couture greats did, was the thing that really made the difference. If you look at a lot of those Balenciaga dresses from the 50s and 60s or Dior from the 50s and 60s, those trapeze style dresses, they don't fit the person, but proportionally they create some kind of magic. And I think that's one of the things that make sewing your own clothes so super special because you can, make things that fit you really well but you can learn all these tips and tricks that help you to make clothes that proportionally work for your body and you can trick the eye and have so much fun working with fabrics and creating shapes and silhouettes that are incredible and make you feel wonderful. My final and fifth reason why I think you should learn to sew is costs. Now, I cannot begin to say or claim that sewing your own clothes is going to be a cost-effective or cheap thing to do. It really isn't at all. And if you love fabric and you love sewing, you end up being quite addicted and you end up spending all your pennies on all sorts of gubbins that maybe you don't really need for your sewing adventures. So by sewing your own, you're not going to save money and I'd be telling you porky pies if I said you would, but there are ways to maximise the value of what you're sewing. If you spend time working out what you really need and want and love in your wardrobe, that in and of itself is going to be a cost effective exercise. Think of all the times that you went into a fast fashion shop and you just bought something on a whim and actually you never ended up wearing it and you didn't even take it back to the shop that is so much wasted pennies whereas if you know that you are really needing this particular thing in your wardrobe a really lovely blouse to go with all the lovely skirts you've got but you don't wear those skirts because you don't have the blouse when you know what you really love what kind of fabrics you love the colors what you need in your wardrobe you'll be so much less wasteful because as i've already said sewing is not a fast activity on the whole it takes you far less time to buy a t-shirt than it does to sort of knock one up 
however fast you sew and however experienced you are at sewing. So being really mindful about what it is that you want to make it means that you can plan and put some money aside for fabrics you can research it's so much fun putting ideas together doing little doodly sketchbooks which is something that i love to do i really love to use my dressmaker's journal in terms of planning doing wardrobe audits seasonally really thinking about the things that i want and then that leads me to the fact that, as I've already said, I really love vintage, which I can't afford, and couture, which I really can't afford, and high-end fashion labels. I can't afford any of them. But I can, over a period of time, find some fabric that I really love. I can draft a pattern or buy a pattern that will work for that item. And then I can sit and sew that garment and create my own version, like I've already pointed out, this vampire's wife style dress in these crazy little vintage kitties. And by doing that, a vampire's wife dress is several thousand pounds. This dress probably cost about £20 in fabric and then I drafted the pattern myself so those costs are quite minimal. I mean there's however many years of learning to pattern cut and those skills all of which I've shared over on my Patreon Tara Stitch Coven and then the time that I've spent sewing and the zip and those bits and pieces. So nowhere near the thousands of pounds price tag and this fits me and I love it and no one else has got a dress quite like this in the whole world so in terms of that it's a really cost effective thing to do. The late and truly great Dame Vivian Westwood said you should buy less and choose well and by sewing you're able to do that you are making things for your wardrobe that really are wardrobe treasures as I've already mentioned in this video if you're really loving the things that you're wearing, if you've fallen in love with the fabric and you've spent the time making the garment, the fact that you're gonna wear this garment time and time again means that cost per wear, you are really doing something that's very, very cost effective, very, very kind on the old purse. And it gives you time to do other things with the money that you've saved from all those wasteful purchases that you might make on the high street or if you're anything like me the things that you're not buying on the high street you might actually spend time buying shoes and vintage shoes and things instead that give you a great sense of enjoyment i really love vintage fabric and i love treasure hunting so that is a way that i really keep costs down with my sewing quite a lot of people very kindly gift me fabrics because I live in a smallish town and people know me as somebody who loves vintage fabrics and sewing so quite often people will drop by with some fabric that they think I might like which is so incredibly kind of them and I'm very very grateful for that. So things like going to charity shops and car boot sales or garage sales or you know shopping online with those small independent businesses that are selling vintage fabrics are all helping with costs and sustainability and mindfulness and they are helping you be a unique and wonderful person that you truly are. So those are my top five reasons why I think you should learn to sew and I really hope that you've found my thoughts useful and interesting and I do hope that if you've been thinking about taking up sewing as a hobby you really do give it a go even if it's the most daunting thing in the world I think anyone can do it you just need to start small and easy and before you know it you'll be sewing the most incredible couture for your handmade wardrobe. It's been really lovely to spend time with you today and if you've enjoyed yourself then do give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to come back and hang out with me in my little cottage by the sea I'd absolutely love to have you. Thank you for spending time with me today and I hope that wherever you are in the world whatever you're doing you're keeping safe and well and I shall see you next time. Bye!